Hi everybody, it's Julie. Today we're going to be using envelopes, a variety of envelopes, some digitals and other things from our stash. And we're going to make the little flippy envelopes like E and scrapbooking with me. So let's get to it. Hi everybody, it's Julie, and again, we're going to be using these envelopes and some Dear Julie Julie Digitals and maybe some origami paper, some maps, and writing from a Thomas Guide, and we're loosely going to be using the idea that I saw um, from E at scrapbooking with me over the weekend. This is our mini challenge in the challenge 3.1. The full instructions will be at the end of this video for what you're going to be doing. If you're participating in the March stash buster challenge, this is your mini challenge in the challenge. Now, sometimes people are not able to do the whole challenge and so we have some fun little challenges that you can do um we put them up each monday i'm just closing these envelopes everybody um we put the mini challenge into the group on mondays i do a video showing you what i'm gonna do for the mini challenge it's due the following monday you can do it uh, you can do your mini challenge for the current challenge or for any other project that you have that you're trying to finish, one that you have coming up, or just to add items to your stash. And so um, I started it because a lot of the challenges are very... Um, minimal on what you're allowed to use and so the mini challenge we were made it so that we were able to put in um more products that you would be able to use in your challenge and then also it gave those that weren't going to be able to do the whole challenge a way to still feel like they were part of the group so we'll see how many i can get these get done with these i'm uh, still, still recovering so much better, but, um, sometimes, uh, I can't, I can't, I can't keep talking. So we'll see. Okay. So I've just closed a bunch of envelopes, different sizes. And now, okay. So this is a great project. If you have some envelopes that are already closed, but you can, um, if you were to cut into them, you would be able to still use them. This would be a great project for that. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this. Um, this was a gift I gave the Patreons. And so we're gonna start with that. And I have this envelope that I think is going to be just perfect for that. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some glue and a paper to use for backing. We'll put the other envelopes right here. Okay. And I'm going to use a glue stick on this. Okay. And we want a good amount of glue. Okay. I'm coming down across here. I'm going to go both directions to try and make sure that I have good coverage. Okay. Okay, then what I want to do is I want to be above the dove wing right here, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue this all down, okay? And we're going to cut. 
cut this cut this out and I did I I did end up on the part of the wing but I can still use this for something else okay and I think I think she opened her envelope first so on the next one, we'll try that, okay? I don't usually, whoop, oh look, those will be good for um, cutting up and using. Okay, so this is what I have. I have that sitting on there. And so we will go ahead and open our envelope, okay? And then we're gonna turn it into like a tag. So we're gonna take this side, okay? And then we're gonna turn it over, put it on this side. This is, I was watching while I was cooking dinner. So I might've missed pieces of how she actually did this. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and pull this down, okay? Pull this down. Okay. Okay. Then we're going to want to cover the lip with something. So what if, ooh, I don't, I didn't, didn't think about, I wonder if we can get our dove on there. And cut a little more of the dove off. You know, straighten this out, because I wasn't straight. So we're going to have to play with some things to make that look more straight. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I think we can do that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add our glue onto here, onto the lip. Then I'm going to put my doves right up in there. Okay. Then we can cut right around this. I should have folded it instead of cutting it I should have folded it down inside but I didn't okay so this is gonna go into um, my January journal and you know um, I ended up very sick in January my journal is not all the elements and everything is are made but the journal did not get put together so um, but I did notice that I needed a couple more pockets. So that there's that. I like that. And then I think we can take some map. Remember we were using map or you might not remember, but I was using map in my, my journal. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get it from this side. Okay. And I'm gonna go right up here. I'm gonna cut myself off a piece right up the C. Okay, so I 
cut a piece off. Okay, I think we can go ahead and cut this. So this is a Thomas guide. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put my glue on here. Then I'm gonna put this down in. Then I can clean this up. There's that. Now I'm going to want to add some other to this. I think, let's see, because we need to um, get rid of these lines, unfortunately, because I didn't, they're not straight. So I can use part of the words. I'm still, even though, you know, the challenge is over, I'm still trying to stick with what we were able to use. And my, one of the books I chose was the, um, the map, the map book. So I could use as much of it as I wanted. I do have to tell you the journal is turning out amazing. Okay, so I can add that to the side. And so we're just trying to fix where, ah, ah, ah. Oh, oh gosh. Wiley just stole the page. Yeah, this is what she stole. Okay, so from, from that, I have this little booklet that we made. And so I can add the, I will bless the Lord at all times. I don't want to cover the church. I want something for over on the other side. That one. I have somewhere I've already taken the words off. Oh, I like that one. Whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do. Oh, I like that. I think we'll put that up there. Okay, so this will give me one of these beautiful pockets for my journal that I'm making for myself out of, for the January. You know what? Let's use regular glue. Okay, and then we'll be able to put a large tag of some sort in here, or a tag. Okay, and we've used an envelope, and we've used some of the map page. And look at the do doves, I think is beautiful. I think I want to do one more thing to this. Did I, did I have my gold pen for that? I don't know, but I'm going to use my gold pen. Because I found them. I'm I've been cleaning off my desk. <laughs> and I found the gold pens. This is the one from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to go around the edge. Of where the doves are. Okay. I think we should go across that too. Okay, so let's put put this in here, and we can also go across across here. 
And I think that just gives that a really nice finished look. And, you know, with a mini challenge in the challenge, you can use anything that you're allowed to use. So we can use anything because this is our stash buster. I wonder. Oh, I don't want to. I think that this is good enough. Okay, so this can go into the journal as a pocket. I have a lot of pages from that map book in, in the journal. So say this was a page. And just go ahead. Well, be bigger than that. Just put it on the page. And you'll be able to put a pocket here. You could also fix it so that either something can go in here or something can come in from the side. Okay, so um, for my, my journal that I made is for Bible study. And so this would be my prompt. And then I could write on whatever's going to be on my tag. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. So let's grab from our envelopes. I have a church envelope. I've covered up the address there. And for this one, I think we'll use the blue, the blue birds. Okay, they don't quite fit on here. So this time, let's remember to do, let's open up our envelope first. Okay, I'm probably going to want to put one of these type of tags in here. So I'm going to open up my envelope. Okay, so if, if the tag was in here, I can open my envelope up here. Okay, we'll just open the envelope up. And then we'll do the tag thing again. I'm not sure if that's how she did this, but... I think that's how I'm, that's how I'm doing it. Okay. So my envelope is put together. Now I do have another piece of a little envelope that we can use right here. And, you know, I like to use my scraps. So put those up there. Okay. So we're going to want to cover the outside of this. And I do have this, this piece. This is origami um, paper. I think somebody gave me that. Or I might have gotten it at a yard sale. Okay. So we're going to go with this. Ear hurts really bad. Very painful. Oh, oh well, that can be what gets put down onto the the page. It's okay. I think we'll cut that off. Okay. So we have that. I'm going to go ahead and pull this piece down. Okay. That's our that's our pull down piece. And we're going to take our birds. Oh, they're going to be under they're going to be under, but we can pull them down, right? Right. That's the cool thing here. Actually, we can go like this. What if we go ahead and Use the top, not the bottom. So this is from the Birds in Blue digital kit that was just released. I'm hoping to show you the whole kit today if I if my printer will talk to my
computer. Okay. Okay, so I'm wrapping this one around. Okay. Just for a different look. It's open here. You could go ahead and stick something up in there if you wanted to, but I'm just going to wrap that around. I just thought it would be different to do to do something a little different there. Okay? And for the fold down, Let's see what we've got. So I think for the top piece, I think if we clean this up, okay, so let's make this straight. Okay, so we can cut, go up and we can go that way. And then we can straighten this out, hopefully. Okay. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and glue that down. And we'll have used the scrap because, you know, it is the stash buster. We're going through and using up our scraps. Okay, so we can decide, do we want to do that? Yeah, I think we want to do this way. Okay. Okay, so that gives me the top piece. And we'll go ahead and cut around. And you could make bases like um, without the without the bird on it, just using your map and your book pages and things like that, and then decorate it later, which I think would be really smart. Okay. There's that. Okay. Now what can we put on here? Okay. So I do have, let's move that, um, some fabric. So I think you could also put fabric on here. I think I'm just going to cut this Go into our fabric tack since we're putting down fabric. Put that down. Oh, if we want it right side up. to get closer to the edge we can get closer to the edge okay then let's go ahead and cut that off and depending on what your um what the front looks like i could leave the flap but i'm not going to leave the flap because it will cover up the birds okay Okay, and then we'll go ahead and put this down. Okay, and we are making three of these. They can be for different projects, different sizes of envelopes. But somewhere on there, I want you to use some fabric, a digital a scrap, okay, because we are stash busting. There we go. Okay, that gives me the second one, and I think we can go ahead and take 
this piece. Again, I, I like to use up my scraps, so go ahead and add glue on this piece from the other. Put it down. Okay, and remember I made this one whoop, so that um, one of those tags would fit in there. Okay, so one of these tags would fit right in there. Probably, preferably, the coffee dyed one. There we go. Okay. I like it. Okay. I think it could get something else on here. I do have some lace. I like that down there. Okay, so I'm gonna go put that down. Okay, piece of lace from out of my stash. Yay! And we have the numbers from the map. Okay, I like those. Numbers from the map. So that gives me envelope number two or envelope decoration number two ready to go into the journal just like that. I cut that edge off. Okay, so there's number two and it is ready for its tag. Love it. We used a scrap, we used some fabric, and we used a digital. Okay, did we do, did we use all those things? Yeah, we did on the other one too. Okay. Okay. Envelope number three. I have this, and I have this. So let's see, we're going to use also from the Birds in Bloom, but I want to use the Daisy. Okay, and I think we can do it on this one. I think we're going to need a background on here also. Um, have an origami. I have that one. And now I'm going to use this one because I don't know what project this is going to go in. Okay. And you can use it either side. She actually used a window um, pocket and covered up the window on the window pocket. So um, let's see. I think that for this one, I will make it so that a large tag from a Dear Julie Julie Digital could go in here because it will fit. If it's cut down just a little bit, it will fit in here. So, um, yeah, so we're going to do that. So let's go ahead and we're going to give it a little bit smaller flip. Okay, let's go cut that down, bring it over here and cut it down over here okay you can find a similar image in a couple of the 
daisy kits in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. The Etsy shop is on sale for 50% off the digitals. Um, and I changed it. It'll be through Friday. Okay, so through Friday. And there we go. You can put this. Yeah, there we go. And we'll, we won't waste as much. I think we can use our regular glue this time. You can make all fancy pockets and stuff too if you wanted to. Okay. I'm trying to go all the way to the edge. Okay, so we're going to go right up under and right to the edge over there. Okay, lift it up, move that out of our way. So you could just make a whole bunch of these and have them ready using your background pieces like this. It would give you another type of pocket and it would use up some envelopes and possibly even some of your scraps. Okay, so there's that. This comes down. Okay, we're gonna use this. I wanna see the whole daisy. I think this time we're gonna go ahead and rip. Okay, so let's go ahead, we'll rip this. If you're new to my channel, um, I don't do a whole lot of distressing. I actually, because there's white in almost everything that we use, I actually like to use the white as like a contrast. Okay, so there's, there's that. That will come down. So this is a Dear Julie Julie Digital. It is called Birds in Blue. This image is also in, like I said, I think it's in Antique Daisies. I have several daisy kits. <laughs> That gives us that. Now we're going to want to come up with something for up here. And we're going to need a, a scrap. Add that there we can use our regular okay. you can use torn book pages I want to use my scrap because I need a scrap on here um, going to want to use some fabric and I think this time with my fabric I'm going to make like a little patch. So let's go ahead and rip. I don't think that I don't think that'll yeah 
that's not enough. Okay. Okay, so we've got a little patch here. Strings everywhere. Okay, that gives us our fabric. I think we'll have it come in from the side. It's always something. go I'm gonna wrap this one around in case I decide to make this a traveling pocket it'll have a little bit of decoration on the back okay okay so we still need something up here so we've taken care of our digital our scrap and our fabric Remember, we need, do need to add a piece of fabric to our first one. Um, I think we'll go with this. This was the origami paper that I used on. Where do we want to put it? Put that on there. I kind of like it on there. I could do both. There's nothing out here that says we can't do both. You know what, though? I think carrying that color up here. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go around. This is just the first glue I picked up. So there's that. I think I'm going to go ahead and try folding it in, see what we think of that. We'll put a little bit of glue on that. Okay. Put it down in. It is an envelope, so... Okay, there's that. Flip it up. And you know what? Let's cut straight across. Giving us nicer scraps, right? After what I went through yesterday with all the funny, funny scraps that were tangling with each other. Okay, so there's that. And we want to glue that down. Okay, so what do you think? I will post the video that I um, that I saw. I'll have to find it, but I will post that so that you can go and watch that. She also had another little window envelope embellishment in that um, in that video that you might check out. I'm just going to go ahead and go around this. And I'm putting the same the, uh, the same origami piece on here. Okay, I want to open my envelope. Then I'm going to move it down so a little bit of glue goes down in there. Okay. And then we'll use 
this to cut it. I have a straighter piece. Okay. There we go. And you could add something else if you wanted. Add a butterfly. Okay, remember one other thing. We didn't add our fabric to this piece. So I have I have this little piece. Oh, I think we can put it right up there. That'll help finish out that collage and then we can close this this off, okay? I'm going to add some fabric tack. Pull the strings. Get the fray. Okay. Put this down. Okay, and then we can also close this and I'm going to use the fabric tack because we're going to have fab this has fabric tack here and we don't want the two glues sometimes we'll fight and make it so that nothing sticks okay so that put that down Okay, I think that can go around. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we have our fabric, our scrap, our digital. We've made a pocket out of our envelope. And so there's that one. This is going in my um, January journal. This one's gonna go in my stash, um, or it might go, yeah. But I, I like that. I think that that is really amazing and fun. And I think we could make those like lots of them all the time. So I want to thank scrap, Scrapbooking with me for the idea. You guys, this is your mini challenge in the challenge. You're making three of these flippy envelopes with the little flap right there. These can be for your March Stash Buster Junk Journal Challenge or for any um, journal or project that you have that you want to use it for. The deadline will be next Monday. Uh, what is that? Seven, the 14th. Don't forget that the digitals are all on sale for 50% off in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. And I have put them on through Friday. And watch for the flip through of the Birds in Blue and the Rose Parade children. Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. Bye. Bye-bye. I'm going to go with just the letters or letters, just the words, just the letters. Okay. So we know that it can
can go in like, you know what? If we go right, oh, I did it again. Gosh, I'm about in a thousand here. See you tomorrow.